How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be having another pack battle. We're going to have Crown Zenith versus V-Star Universe. This is going to be exciting. So let me just put both of these like over here, so we can keep track of them. So these are from the booster books that I unboxed um, in last week's video, from my mail day video. So let's see what we can find in here, and these ones are from a from a Zamazenta figure collection box. So let's see, I had a... I had really good luck with the Zashian one that I unboxed earlier. So we'll see if if that goes well together with the Zamazenta as well. Let's see. Oh well, our first art rare, Manaphy. I already have this one, but that is a that is a nice art rare. And here we have a Mewtwo V-Star. Very cool. Man, after after a a long break actually from V-Star Universe, it is kind of refreshing. To, to unbox some V Star Universe, or so let's let's alternate between the the packs, I suppose. If I can get this open, it's very very difficult to open for some reason. So let's just pull this out. Here we have a code card. There you go. And let's see what we can find in Crown Zenith. Let's see which one will, will give us the better pulls. I'll also do as I always do with these pack battles. I'll have the value- Oh my god, we have a Mew! Man, we already won. This is the best card in this set. We have a Mew, nice. Okay. We'll see. I will put a um, the value at the end of the video as I always do with these pack battles. But let's alternate between the two, I guess. Because that's always fun, you know, alter alternate between them. Let's see, man, I really wish... I really wish V-Star Universe was finally available for MSRP. But it's still pretty difficult to find for MSRP. I'd love to open more. Here we go, we have an NTV. And an Erida. Holographic, a Ditto, and a Cynthia. Right, I'll only be counting the... You know, the Vs, the Art Rares, and so on and so forth. Same with Crown Zenith. I think... Mm, I don't know. I mean, V-Star Universe, you always have that... That, whatchamacallit, that guaranteed pull, if you will, with like the, the V Pokemon, whereas in Crown Zenith, you don't. So that will be interesting to see. I mean, I guess if we pull a gold card out of any of these, that's what's gonna put that set... That set ahead, but here we go. Nothing for this one. Oh, here we go. Forgot the code card. There you go. Enjoy. All right, and let's continue on with this opening. Let's see what our SAR will be. I still, I'm still require so many cards from from V Store Universe for my binder and for for cards that I want to send in for grading. So let's see. Oh, Machamp V Max, nice. All right, and a Magnazone Hollow. Yeah, I still require so, so many cards from V-Star Universe. Like a bunch for my binder. Of course, the the gold cards, you know, the ones that I haven't pulled. I pulled the Giratina. I still require all the, the other three. Arceus, Diaga, and Palkia. I just opened a, another V-Star Universe pick. We'll have, to, we'll have to open two Crown Zenith ones. But caught up. In, in the middle there, Genesect V. Nice. Nice. Oh, and here we go, a Secret Rare Energy. Very, very nice. Let's put that there for now. I will have to move this somewhere. Let's move it, like, over to right here. Okay. Accidentally opened two Crown Zenith packs, or two V-Star Universe packs. But that's okay, we can just open two Crown Zenith packs to keep it even to even it out. So far, we've only pulled a Mew, but as you already know, if we pull a Mew, that is the best pull we can have. Any Mew... Any Mew is a plus in my book. Let's see. Oh, a Hoopa V! Yo, okay. Nice. And a Rotom V as well. Talk about a double pull in these. That's really cool. That's the first time I've pulled that hoop. I haven't pulled that before. Not in Japanese and not in English. Okay, let's put... How do I do this? Let's put the Rotom right here. I have to kind of like move them. There we go. And let's check out this Hoopa up close. 
Yo, that looks pretty cool. What's that? Is he sitting on a lot of treasure? He is. Interesting. I kind of like this. Illustrated by Okacheke. Very, very cool. Okay. Let's open another Crown Zenith. I think I'm... Maybe I'm so stunned about the pulls that I'm not remembering the correct order of opening. But, you know, if we do open... If we open, like, a few packs here and there more, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. Oh, there is the Radiant Charizard. Okay, that's a really good pull. And a Sky Tablet. And here is the Code Card, of course. Enjoy. Nice, Radiant Charizard. I've also pulled the Radiant Charizard out of my... out of my Zashian box. So that is definitely... definitely a very nice pull. Charizard always... always holds at least some value. So that's probably a decent pull. Let's see what else we can find here for... for V-Star Universe. Come on. Oh, talking about a Charizard. Here we go. Another Charizard. We have a Charizard over from V-Star Universe as well. It's the battle. Dude, this might actually be very, very close. If I'm not mistaken. It all depends. I think it highly depends on the on the SAR that we pull from V-Star Universe. And it highly depends if we pull, if we pull like uh, another... Whatchamacallit? Another Galarian Gallery card or something like that. Or maybe even a gold card from Crown Zenith. That would be a first. But let's see, Ponyert. We've got a Larvista. We've got an Oddish. And we've got a Tangroth. Okay. No for that one. But here's the code card. Nothing in that pack. We'll see. The SAR should still show up. Maybe in one of the, the next few packs. I wonder what it will be. There's a lot of lot of cool SARs that you can get from V-Star Universe. I do want to open more of these, but then at the same time... For some reason, they're still not available for MSRP. But, oh, here we go. Dialga V and a Lucario. Lucario is cool. Oh, and a Mew. Okay, we're putting that aside as well, of course. Always put the Mew cards aside. That's our rule. I'm getting overwhelmed by empty boosters. Let's put the Mew over here. We do count the Mews. The Mews might come in handy. Right, Crown Zenith. The Mews might come in handy. I do like them. So let's... Let's see. Shinx. Larvista. This is kind of a nice send-off. I mean, I do... Oops. There goes that one. And nothing in this one. This is kind of like a nice send-off because I don't plan to to open any more um, Crown Zenith and V-Star Universe probably for a long time. Since, since V-Star Universe is still not available for MSRP, I'd much rather spend my money on the cards that I actually want from it. Even though, yes, it is fun to open. I'd much rather spend my money and just buy singles. That's a very nice illustration. I'd much rather spend my money and just buy the singles instead of, like, chancing it on a pole. You know? And that's probably what I'll end up doing. Garchomp V. And a Zapdos. The SAR still isn't showing up. It's really... It's really been saving it for, for the very last pack, probably. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Focus, thank you. Shinx. I've got a Pancham. I've got a Snow Runt. I've got a Rockruff. Tangela. An Ultra Ball. And a Autograph card. A Hop. I guess I'll count these as well since these are like somewhat special. Let's put it right here. And then that's it for this pack. Here is the code card though, of course. Only a few packs left on each side. As I've said, it all depends on which SAR we pull here. There are a lot of SARs that are pretty expensive still. Like the, the Mewtwo, the Charizard, and so on. But there's also ones that are pretty cheap, like the Lucario. Comes to mind, that's I think only like 7 or something. But we'll see. Oh, here's the next art rare. We're still promised one more after this. 
And yo, okay, it's the Hizuian Zoro Arc V. Nice. I actually needed that for my collection. That is really good. And Cyrus. At the back there. Yo, this is really cool. I've also pulled this in English before. But I do prefer the Japanese version. Look at this, man. This is such a cool illustration. Jesus. Okay. Let's put this here, I suppose. There are so many pulls. I'm running out of space at some point here. I also have to take into consideration. Let's put the magnets over here. Yeah, sure, that works. That works. Let's see. Two packs on each side left after this one, of course. Let's see. I think that one is actually decent. I think that's about 20 euros. So I... I think right now I'd give it to V-Star Universe. We'll see if we can if we can beat that. Probably not. The cards are sticking together. And I keep revealing the card. That is not a pull. What's wrong with these cards? They're kind of odd. Hmm. Well, let's see what the last art rare is. Dude, if we pull a Mew art rare out of V-Star Universe as well. I'll flip. That would be absolutely amazing. Because as you know, Mew is the best card you can pull out of any set if there is a Mew. And if there isn't a Mew, you shouldn't be opening that set. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's see. What's here? Not here. We've got a Leafeon though. Got a Leafeon. Let's put the Leafeon right here. And a few Hollows. Okay. Let's see. Can Crown Zenith redeem itself on these last two packs here? Or no? The last art rare is really waiting in the last pack. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So let me try to not reveal it this time. Let's just do it like this. Yes. That seems to be working. Okay. Emolga. Nope. Was no pull there anyways. An Agron. Man. Okay. The Zashian box was way better for now. Like, this barely had any pulls. I mean, we still got something really cool. But the Zashian box so far was far better. And honestly, I think V-Star Universe has this beat. V-Star Universe definitely gave us the better pulls. Let's see what the last art rare is that we can find in, in this one right here. No god pack. But let's, let's see... Should be coming up next. Yep. Okay, it's a Comfy. I've already pulled this before, but here you go. Comfy. And we've got a Zashian V as well. Zorok. Oh, and a Radiant Halucha. That's right. I've completely forgotten about these Radiant cards. You're always... You always promised one of these Radiant cards as well from V-Star Universe. Very, very nice. Okay. Well, one last Crown Zenith pack. Will this make a difference? Or will V-Star Universe just run away with the victory here? Let's see. You know, for this last one, I'll actually be doing the card trick. Let me just pull the code card out. There you go. Let's just do three. Take this leaf energy and throw it aside. Let's see if we can get one last pull. You know, full art trainer, gold card, anything. Anything to make this right. Wulu. Got a Shinx. Got a Pancham. Got a Snow Runt. We've got a Rockruff howling at the moon. We've got... Oh, we've got another Art Rare or Galarian Gallery card in this one. And a Kyogre. Okay. Welp. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure V-Star Universe won that one. But... Anyways, the values will be on the screen right now. And that is a surprise and or I saw that coming. You know, I have to cover both fronts here. But yeah, I mean, just looking at the polls compared to this. I mean, even just these, even though these aren't worth that mu as much, if anything, you're promised one at least. So I'd, I'd give it to V-Star Universe, like honestly. This probably shouldn't even be a contest. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, give it a thumbs down. And tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.